<laughs> Are you going sunburn or rug burn? Better to be a morning person or a night owl. At what age should people be legally allowed to have a job? Should people have the right to wear pajamas in public? Would cats or dogs be better at running the world? Constipation or uncontrollable diarrhea? Shake it up. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Wednesday? <laughs> Happy hump day, folks. Usually I say something sarcastic I right know, off the like, bat. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to let this one marinate. <laughs> we always make you feel like a little bit uncomfortable. We're I love like, that. How, you know. I love that. I'm feeling great today and tonight. Today's been a good day. I'm stoked to be here, honestly. You know what it is? We're back at the gym, baby. We're back at the gym. Oh, so I had a great, I got a, I had a great session today. Did buys, tries, and back um, with the home gym. I, nice. I, dude, I, uh, I had a rude awakening this morning. Um, I'm not saying like I'm overweight or obese by any means, but uh, I'm not, I'm not um, where I want to be at all. Like okay. I, that's a good way to say it. I feel the same thing. Yeah, like I, yes, it could be worse, but uh, I put on like five shirts uh, like for tonight and every one of them were way too tight. And then I tried on like three different pairs of jeans and I think one like, like a khaki pants, like a, like a chinos. So it was like kind of casual, kind of dressy just to see. And those like, I don't even think I could have buttoned them. And I'm like, okay, this is like, this is over. Were these an old pair of pants or like, they're just, I got these before my honeymoon. Okay. And so I do think washing them, Made like shrunk. It a does. Lot of it. You gotta like yeah. get a, you gotta get in and stretch them out a little bit, especially yeah. with chinos, because that's pretty much like what I wear mo- mostly. And like every time I wash them, I'm like, all right, these are way too tight. So I like I got slim. Stick my hand down to like my knees and do a little stretch. I'm like, I gotta just like break these <laughs> in real quick so that they're comfortable because they'll they'll break in throughout the day, but like right off the bat, they're just too tight. Yeah, it was it was awful. I was I was so mad at myself. I was not mad. I was disappointed. And you know how they say like when your parents are disappointed in you, it <laughs> it's like worse. hits the worst. Yeah, <laughs> and that was me. And um. This weekend is my birthday weekend, and we're going to party. We're going to party it up. I'm not going to think about a single thing, but when I come back... <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> not this not this time. My 30th was nuts. Um, way too much. I had way too much to drink. <laughs> but uh, when I get back, it's, it's going to be great. It's I already did meal, I did meal prep. I know you're, not, you're still not on Snap, but uh, I was sending Matt. I was like, meal prep for the week. So every, every day for lunch... I've had like my portion meals. I've had chicken with rice, uh, and like broccoli. We had like uh, like a Mexican taco type without the bread. So it was like okay. rice, beans, corn, tomato, like a pico, and um, uh, meatballs. But it was made with turkey, ground turkey. Good stuff, man. So, yeah, man, I'm 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 back. I'm, I'm definitely. You gotta keep your eyes on the price. It's so yeah. easy to follow off I and know. stuff. And like this it's week, like, I've been back to carnivore this week as well. I haven't had any carbs or sugar through, since you know, what's say through Wednesday. So yeah, feeling good. And I had a great workout yesterday, and it feels good to be back and lifting. And I'm I'm sore, and it's good. It's it's a so great feeling. I think this weekend's gonna be a little bit of a cheat, but back to it Monday. Yeah, it's a good it's a good cheat. It's a good cheat. Cheers to your birthday, so, bro. Cheers, we're gonna man. get out and we're gonna celebrate Let's and go. have a good time. Hell yeah! And I'm glad you're you're gonna ex- you're gonna be experiencing this. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. So, I love spicy margaritas. I do too. Because yeah, why don't we tell the crowd about this one? Yeah, on the rocks. What's up? <laughs> Yeah, we got another on the Email rocks me back. this week. <laughs> this is the jalapeno jalapeno pineapple margarita. I don't know why I said it like that. Um, Mahaga. Crafted with Trace Generaciones. Some boy. The description is a sweet and spicy margarita crafted with Trace Generaciones, tequila, and triple sec. <laughs> I love how it's like that s- special name. And yeah, yeah. Triple sec. Right. <laughs> Alex it's approves. Good. I like uh, I like spicy margs too, but I'll be honest, I don't like this. <laughs> I'll no? be the black sheep. Not really? my favorite. Not my favorite taste. What is it? What do you think it is about it? I don't know. Everything. It's kind of the spice. The tequila. It might be the sweet because when you have a spicy margarita, they're not usually that sweet, and this actually throws a lot of sweet in. And maybe it's because I haven't had sugar this week, so maybe it tastes a little bit different to me. Yeah, but I think it's, so. Uh, it's not hitting me the way I wished it would. To me, it's not that <laughs> sweet. 
but you know that's probably for that reason because I've been hitting the sugar a lot. <laughs> so but maybe we should have based on Gorgeous. maybe next time we'll do like a salt rim or something. I don't know. I know. I, know. I should have. I should have done that. I well, well, I didn't know what you were bringing, so I. It was hard for me to guess, but well, that and I want to just try the drink on its own to see how it would be. So we should uh, we should keep track of all the ones we've <laughs> tried and rank them because yeah, there's been some really really good ones, and I'll be honest. This one's just not my favorite. Yeah, I I liked. Uh, there's a couple that I I liked better than others, but they were all still pretty good until now. this one. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately I think for me, I like the, the Midori set. Sour was good. That was very good. The yeah. Mai Tai was good, but it smelt a little funny when you just smell it. Remember mm-hmm. that, yep. dude? The, um, but it was good. It still tasted good. I would almost I'd put the sour over the, over the Mai Tai, the Midori. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and what then, I'm saying. We should. Get them all and Let's keep the it. bottles or something. And yeah, it's a them. good idea. Did you get the aviator? Yes. Okay, so. That's next. All right, cool. So I've already had it, but oh, there's okay. a reason why. So we stopped into the place um, uh, right right in town. Uh, it's called like, um, it's, it's like a name. It's like Jeff's. Yeah, or, you know Pete's what I'm talking or about? something. Pete's, yeah, yeah. It's like a really like hole in the wall. Like I think there's like an apartment above it, but it's, it's great. Like they have everything you need. And uh, all I wanted was uh, soda water because we were going to do uh, vodka sodas. On Valentine's Day, just at the house, and um, he was like, "Oh, it's a f- it's a five dollar minimum on the card." And I'm like, "All right," and they had every flavor, so um, I just picked one at random, and it was delicious. Even Lexi liked it. It's got like a floral tone to it, like a floral taste, but it is still kind of sweet. And even if you don't like gin, it's still very good. Okay. So yeah, it's good to know because it it's, to it's me really it looks good. really good. Yeah, it's got like that pink flavor. I don't know if it's like pink lemonade tasting or it's not it's, it's like floral. it's subtle it's subtly sweet okay it's like it's sweet enough but it's not super sweet and it's got a little bit of a gin flavor but I, it's i blacked out did you say it's made with aviator gin uh, yeah no it's just oh is it it is oh, yeah. okay that, that makes would make sense, sense right that makes sense okay. it's called the aviator yeah, yeah. the aviation i know my uh, aviation my family yeah. likes that that gin so i'm not a big gin guy but i'm down to try it so nor is lexi and she she was she thought it was really good. It's got like kind of a sweetness to it. Gin's an interesting type of alcohol. Everyone's like, it tastes like pine trees, and like some I like pine don't. trees, but mm-hmm. I don't like gin that much. Well, the thing that's weird about gin, and I've said this before, is that whenever I drink it, the next morning when I wake up, my neck is killing me. And I was like, this this happened multiple times where I drank gin, and then the next day, my ne- like if I move my neck, it would just like be killing me. So I talked to my uncle about this because he he actually likes gin. He's like, Dan, that's crazy you say that because after <laughs> he drinks gin, his entire chest is killing him. That's bizarre. And I was like, what? Maybe we're allergic to the juniper berries because that's what gin is. That, like, right, that's the base right. of gin. It's like fermented um, juniper berries Okay. from the fermenters. Um, but I just thought that was interesting. So I guess I'll have to, after I have the aviation, I'll have to report back Let's about my it. neck. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, I wish you liked it. I, I, I honestly think this is really good, but. I don't know. I, I More mean, for I, you. Hey, yeah, uh, it, it's not gonna. <laughs> it's not gonna offend me, but yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. No, <laughs> don't, don't lie. Yeah, um, I had. I've, I've always had like a pretty bad, um, like, uh, what the hell is it? Uh, acid reflex. Mm. So I've been Same. dealing with it a long, Tums, baby. long time. I know, which they say doesn't do anything. Like it, it covers it, it but it makes it worse. Yeah. Yeah. I like so, it. I've also been taking like apple cider vinegar that's gummies. Good for yeah. Yeah. They're good for your immune health and then also for your, you know, acid reflux, but there's sugar in the gummies. So I'm going to try and find like a supplement that doesn't have gummies. <laughs> well, you could just take apple cider vinegar, like yeah. tabs. Yeah. Um, those are better because if you just drink, I drink apple cider vinegar, but the thing is, if with you don't. With mother. What's that? With mother. With mother. That's the, that's what's called the big thing that floats inside of it. Is the mother? Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yes. Yeah. So they sell yes. it called apple cider vinegar with mother, and it's just this big floating whatever the hell. A I don't placenta. Know if it's an apple or something. <laughs> it's an orb. Maybe not a placenta. <laughs> <but>. I, <just laughs> I hope not. Damn. Although you can mother. you can eat those. <laughs> well, I mean that's why I said that. Well, yeah. When, but the thing is, like, if I if I just drink that straight, it burns my throat so bad. And it's like, yeah, it's good for acid reflux, but I'm like, it's making my throat burn Does it? worse. So what I have to do is I dilute it with a lot of water yeah, and I just like drink deal. it slowly yeah. or I'll just take like the tabs so that they don't like explode until they hit your stomach. Bring so, me a tab. It's very strong. One. Okay. Yeah. Will do. Let's do some tabs. 
Tabs on the, <laughs> on yeah, the next one. Dab. D- tabs. Is, that, is this Tabs the is the... Like, the dab. How do you dab? But, like this. Alex is a pro. Yeah. Okay. No, you're not doing it right. No, I'm not doing it? <laughs> you, can, you can do it. I always go... <laughs> I always make my right hand ex, uh, extend. Right but hand. But I'm a righty. Extend. I'm a righty. So maybe lefties go the other way. But I'm a righty too. But you like... Your nose, chin, mouth area like goes into the crevice oh. of your... But I think I think they call that your face. Yeah. What, yeah. <laughs> Nose, chin, mouth area. <laughs> well, not your eyes. Just, your facade. So no, it's like this. It's like, it's like a true, like when you're yeah. sneezing. True. Oh, okay. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, I never knew what it was because I know like a yeah. lot of high school kids do it. Fortnite so. made it huge, man. I, I play a lot of Fortnite and yeah. I still didn't know how to do it. Oh, how did, yeah. I would always screw it up. I'd always do like, you know, like... Just like that. Something like that, you know? Are you wearing VR again? Is that why you just smoked your mic? <laughs> Dude, this thing's like invisible <laughs> when I've had a drink. Or even half a drink. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Yeah. It's like cilantro, too, when it comes to the uh, the gin. Like, some people like it and some people... It's like, I like a, cilantro. It's like a love or a hate. Yeah. It's not in between. Yeah. And uh, people say that cilantro tastes like lice, um, pine salt. Okay. Yeah. I like a little bit of it, but you can't overdo it for sure. When it comes to like the this tacos is and so stuff, good. I really like it, man. <laughs> I'm not okay. a big margarita. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry on your I shoulder. I wish I liked it, man. I almost never keep like, taking the couple sips. I've, yeah. gotten a, <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten a margarita like maybe a handful of times, probably yeah. less than ten, honestly. Right. And this is way better than any one I've gotten. That's crazy. I don't know if it's because maybe when you're at the bar, they dress it up a lot, put sugar on the rim, and then like flavor it a little bit more. But this is like the perfect amount of sweet. I've had some. I know you didn't say the same, but. For yeah. me, at least, yeah. it's like if they if it had even this a s- tiny bit more sweet, it'd be too much. Yeah, I agree. And we used to I love spicy margaritas. During COVID, Lindsay and I used to buy jalapenos and just oh, so cut good. them up and throw them into margs all the time. The best thing to do: buy whatever kind of pineapple juice, like whatever kind of brand, like the Simply Orange brand or whatever, mm-hmm. or the or the as I said last time, minus five, <laughs> the calorie five calorie <laughs> five only uh, Ocean spray drinks. Or yeah, yeah. Negative five a, calories. Negative five calories. You, <laughs> you actually the, lose. It's a self <laughs> <laughs> dietary. Keeps it chill. Yeah, so you, you pour like just a little bit out, and then you cut up a bunch of jalapenos, and then as many seeds as you want, like for how spicy you want it. But you throw it into the whole bottle, you shake it up, you leave it in your fridge overnight, and you have yourself a mix for the tequila to get like a nice, real good spicy marg. You know what's good too in margaritas is a little a little splash of orange juice. Yeah, mm. like I've seen people make that at restaurants, and I'm like, that's that's a great idea. I tried it, and it was good. I've I've had some really good spicy margaritas um, at different places. They'll call them like the Devil's Heat, and or like whatever, and it's pretty spicy and stuff. And this is this, this you is know we w- w- when I was making spicy margs at home, we'd put tahini on the rim. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, the feet. Fish food. <laughs> it was so good. Danny though, starts dude. licking I the rim. <laughs> Maybe I'm a fish in my past life or something. You know, Maybe. Like, you like to like, be in the ocean. What was that movie? Um, t- hey, Ar- not Hey Arnold. Um, Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey Arnold. Yeah, I don't know. That's what first wow. popped in my head. Uh, I just. Well, you have butter today. <laughs> <laughs> butter, butter, butter. Hey Arnold. I was hey, thinking Nemo. of like the football head. Oh uh, yeah, him swimming through Nemo. a fish tank. No. <laughs> That Football head. That's so funny. They could <laughs> bring those worlds together. You know, Hey Arnold and Finding Nemo. They did it with, um, it was Rugrats and Jimmy Neutron, right? I think they did Maybe. like a mix yeah. or a SpongeBob. Yeah, that was, those were good times. Mm. SpongeTron. Well, the goal for this weekend is find you a real good spicy mark. I'm down. Yeah. We can All make that us. happen very easily, I think. All of us. Yeah. I'll probably <laughs> drink mixed drinks the majority of the time. Oh, I always do miss. Um, it's gonna be vodka sodas for me. Yeah. That's been my go-to. Yeah. For those who don't know, we're going up to Portland, Maine, for Alex's birthday. I'll give you the exact address in the description so you can catch us. Go, go because you can go the next weekend. Because yeah, because <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see this after yeah, we go. Yeah. yeah, because you won't. We'll have some good stories next week. I think. Oh, definitely. It's, like, it's hey, remember that great. homeless guy that beat up Danny? <laughs> Dude, I'd I'd be honored to get beat up by a homeless guy. Dude, Portland is just. I just throw a banana at him. Yeah, he probably not like for food I'd aggressively. <laughs> he'd probably catch it, eat it. It's all it's all thanks and to then Matt. barf it up it's on all, you. It's all thanks to Matt. Yeah, well, it was six years ago, Alex was like, oh, you know, it's my birthday. Like, what we should what should we do? And I was like, well, everyone goes to Boston. Let's I know, go I was to like, Portland, Boston, or something. He's like, have you ever Boston. been to? Well, I mean, it can it can be a good time. We've been there a few times. 
Yeah, like why would you go? <laughs> it should be a why P, dude. There? Portland. I, baby. I don't know if I've overdone it, but I'm just like so, I'm kind of over Boston. Oh, same. So same. Portland's like a nice like colonial, smaller, low key city, but like it's still a lot of like college to thirty five year olds. Area, yeah, yeah. So it's is a there lot a of, college uh, around there? Yeah, it, it's well. I think so. I think there is. I forget at what least, it is. At but least maybe in the, a couple towns over, because there's it's there's there's a huge twenty one to like twenty three population, especially at the Oasis, dude. It's a cool place. Yeah. I, I really like Portland. Like I do. I know we it's always talk about going in the summer, and we should. But we will. I would. Uh, I'd I'd like love to like even live there. It's such I a would. cool, pretty. It's a nice spot, and it's like secluded enough away from like all the craziness of like. It's know. funny. We we uh we went to Portland. We got a a gift certificate to an Italian restaurant. In, in uh, Portsmouth uh, for Christmas, and um, I was saying the same thing. Like, what? Nothing. Okay. I just thought of a funny story. Okay, and then now I need to hear it. Okay. No, 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 no. Did you hear that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but I was like, I would love to. But then, no, 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 no. I would love to live in uh, Portsmouth or Portland. I would definitely do that. Yeah. Not Portsmouth, Portsmouth is cool too. No? Portsmouth is way too liberal. The problem with Portsmouth you, is it, it's like one street that's fun and then it's like just kind of like a normal city, right? Well, and a lot yeah. of the bars close like pretty early. Though. Same really? with Boston. Yeah, and it's tough to get like a reservation anywhere. And like and this protest, the this protest like every day. You yeah. go, you know, you're like, oh, I just want to go get a donut. And you go outside and they're like, free. <laughs> really? Free us. And I'm like, who's us? Portland's super cool though. It's like a bigger awesome. Newbury port. Yeah. yeah. I think, I don't think there's as much like of that nonsense Dude, it up is there. Such, it's such a vibe, man. And I'm trying, I'm trying when we get there Friday, we're going just the two of us first. Like we'll leave here early, get there for a lunch. We're going to the Bissell Brothers. <clears throat> so we'll have lunch there. But I, I want to try and get into a tattoo shop in the area for like a walk in. But like, do like a flash. Uh, flash art like something they already have it's done like they just put it on you and because usually you need like an appointment just for funsies um well for funsies but like it'll have meaning like um we've gone there now what four times now five times yeah probably five yeah like it and we it, missed last year so we've been going for six years or something that, yeah that's probably true yeah so you should get a little champ. it means a lot <laughs> dude you should we, I know. that's like what Lindsay and i want to get is a little, little outline of pico yeah yes because pico's got his big tail so we'd like. It'd be cool. It'd be cool to do like a little anchor, or something that has like Portland or like maybe like the zip code or I don't know, whatever whatever they have, whatever they have. It'll just I I know it'll mean don't something. Don't do an anchor. Yeah, you anchor would be sick. No, I said don't do oh, an anchor. Oh, don't do an anchor. <laughs> oh, it's just you know every basic, you know what has depends one. depends how you do it though. <laughs> depends how you do I have it. One. Do you? No, I don't. Yeah. Do you? I don't. Tell me. I don't. All right. I had one here. You can kind of yeah. Actually, you can see the top. I'm gonna get a heart cool. with an arrow through it that says "Mom." It says Portlandia. <laughs> but uh, my brother has a tattoo of a ship that's sinking, and it just says "Fuck." Does, Does it, really? it really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like uh, like s- s- things suck or shit sucks. Maybe I'll get like, 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 no, like, I'll get like a taxi cab because it's funny. The first time I ever took a taxi cab was in Portland. Really? Yeah. Okay. And it was I think it was the first year we went. Was that was that the first year when we we stayed in that house with all the girls? And, yes. Oh my god, and, dude. Uh, some other people that stink. Ooh. <laughs> dude, we stayed at a really awesome spot, but the guy was on the premise. He like lived downstairs all, and was like a all. mega asshole. Oh, man. He like he charged like, us because he saw more cars show up than we said was coming, and like he's like, I was counting eight people. You said there only gonna be six. Like. Screw you, dude! Like they're sleeping on the floor. Yeah, right. you're gonna charge us, and they charge Alex more. Yeah, what really? Do like three, four hundred dollars more? Terrible review. Damn, screw that I left guy. him a one star review, paragraph after paragraph, and he actually rejected it. And like, just how can they never reject it? That doesn't make sense. You can like, you can just like delete it. I would you can just like uh, hide it or delete it. I was such a dick. Yeah, he he was like, you know, oh, like. You guys said eight, but they were telling like, okay, well, it was not planned, but people have been drinking all night. Yeah, you want, you want them, them to drive home, right? And, like, he was such an <coughs> ass, dude. He, yeah. And he lived; he was right below us. Yeah, yeah. Had right we known, we and like now we Never. know, like to kind of keep an eye. And you read the reviews because people will say that like they oh they're on the premises or whatever. But like I've been looking at Airbnbs for my brother's bachelor party, and I'm like, all right, it doesn't look like there's room for an apartment, but like they could be the next neighbor over. Not that, like we're trying to like destroy anything. We're just trying to have a fun time and not, you know, have to deal with bullshit. Are you looking in Portland? <laughs> for them? No, we're looking. Uh, any, we're looking like Winnipesaukee, a little Sebago, some sort of lake house type of thing. Gotcha. Sebago's beautiful. Well, I was gonna bring up my funny story because it has to do with an Airbnb in Portland. Let's, Let's do it. it. Wow. And so, yeah, so for my my cousin's bachelor party, he like 
we rented him this gigantic house. And it had like a bunch of bedrooms. It was super old. Probably built in like, I don't know, the 1800s or something. Drew? Yeah, Drew. And um, That's my boy. Yeah. <laughs> You're my boy, Drew. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Drew, Drew's come to come to the range with some Hell heavy yeah. artillery. But anyways. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That's right. So there's like, I think there's like eight of us. And there's this, the house had like eight rooms on the dot. So each person got a room. And so my brother showed up late. And so there was only one room left at this Airbnb. And the people who own the Airbnb put a sign in it saying like, hey, this room is haunted. Like, we know this for a fact. <laughs> but the ghost is very friendly. So you'll be okay. And Casper. so, and so um, you know, friendly my, ghost. my brother's, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a tough guy. Yeah. He's, you know, he's not afraid of it, I'm sure. He, he's pretty macho. He so. probably <laughs> slept with his, with his gun. <laughs> so uh, so we, we wait till he gets to the Airbnb. And then we're like, ha ha, dude, like, you have to sleep in this room. And he reads the sign. And he goes, he goes, I don't give a shit. I'll f- the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> and he just like, <laughs> obviously, David, you should blur out those swears. But so did he swears? Yeah, he. he did. How was it? Good. I'm curious. Now. Slept like a baby. <laughs> He's like, oh, I didn't notice anything because he basically, you know, we were drinking pretty heavily. Yeah. It was a bachelor party, but Dude, that's that's out. awesome though that everyone. So that's like a big thing with Airbnbs and like like for my bachelor party. There was a couple of bunk rooms and stuff, and like that's yeah, it is what it is. Everyone's drinking; it's a place to crash. You know, I got a great funny but, story from yours. But uh, <laughs> so for I, you know, I get up there; it's like this awesome house. And my brother picked and everything, and I'm like, all right, well, it's my bachelor party. I'm taking like the master bedroom, and like I think there's like maybe one or two other rooms with like one or two beds in them, nothing crazy. But majority of the time, you show up, and it's like like for your bachelor party, we literally had a room with eight beds in it. Yeah, Damn. in, in yeah, Vegas, yeah. and then yeah. there's another room with two beds in it. But like, I don't know, like just I said, like a big wide open room with eight. Yeah, beds just in a it? long That's room so with sick. like twins, like foot to foot. You know, like four on one That's on each wall. That's so sick. Not that tight though. Like the walking, like the the aisle between the beds, like facing each other, was pretty wide. Okay, yeah. and yeah. your view was literally the strip. Yeah, so it was like yeah, an orphanage. Paris. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. You were orphans for the night. Got yeah. it. I was in with Panji. <laughs> yeah. Well, and his so. sleep apnea machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had my air my AirPods, so nice. What, let's hear your funny story though. From you said from mine. Oh, from your your bachelor party. Yeah, so yeah, we're at this place, <clears throat> very s- very scenic in Maine. Okay, up in like Bethel, by, up by, by like Sunday, Sunday River. River. Yep. You know, so midsummer. Like, oh yeah. Or I guess yeah, May June somewhere like around there because we got married in June. I think it was the last weekend of May or the okay. first of June. Okay. Was that a cruel summer? It was kind of cold, but yeah, and uh, <laughs> a cruel summer. And uh, <laughs> so the way like it was set up, there should have been plenty of room, and there was. But like I'm walking through, and like we're talking and stuff, and we're trying to find a room. And I was like under the impression all the rooms were booked up, and I'm like I'm not sleeping on the floor or a couch or a chair. And like I also had been drinking throughout the day. I took like a huge nap one of the days. <laughs> giant, giant nap. Okay. But uh, not small. No. Oh, giant, giant <laughs> nap. Huge. But so one night I'm like screw this because I had I had the truck then I, I wasn't a Mustang <laughs> so I literally just went in my truck put the seats down brought a blanket and like a pillow and I just crashed I just slept till like eight in the morning dang and then someone came out there and they were laughing and yelling and doing shot a shotgun of like Bud Light or whatever or like not Bud Light Coors Light maybe <laughs> and um I woke up and I'm like oh shit it's time time to get up but <laughs> it was so stupid because there was so much room. So yeah. Then the next right. Night, you didn't realize that there was like open beds. But and like stuff. we were, it was almost um like we. I was told for basically I was like told like all the rooms are like filled, and I was assigned one room with three people already in. I'm like, dude, I'm not sleeping in one room with three other people. Like four people is that's a lot, mm-hmm. and it was a small room, so they had like two. It was like beds with pullouts, so it made it like double decker. Oh, almost, were you uh, in there with the? Alex and Bo and and Panji, yeah. Yeah. And like, I'm like, at first I'm like, yeah, sure. But then I thought about, dude, like that that's too many people. So, um, but it was a great time. Save me some. Save it. Save you the rest. Take it all. I want you to drink every. But you have to sit on this first. Oh, can you double that? (laughs) Thank you. Yeah. (laughs) So, but uh, but yeah, it was it was funny. I slept in the truck, but that just goes to show, like, it's great. So much room. Save some money. I know. You know. I, I slept on the seats, but we were staying in one 
one of our previous episodes that when you flip the seats up, you can literally lay down like a twin air mattress. It's I'm the same way though. Amazing. Like I don't like sleeping in like a room full of people. I'm I'm a right. really light sleeper. So like, if I hear one person snoring, that's game over. Right. So like for Mike's, I'm just like. I don't care. I'll bring an air mattress and sleep, and sleep in the kitchen. Cause like, Same. Like, so for Pangees, did you sleep in the basement there or were you up in one of the rooms? Where the hell was I? I was, in the, I was on a futon in the basement and there was like Mike on an air mattress. So I was like, this is chill. This is all I need. But like once it, once you're in a bunk room with a ton of people, it's like, uh, I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to sleep tonight. Like, I have one more bunk story just because we're talking about how bud bunk, bad bunks are. Bed bugs? Yeah, bed, bed. bugs. So my cousin uh, Mike, stoked, stoked brogy. We were in upstate New York, right right by Woodstock, and I was in a room of bunks with like five or six other guys. I mean, this was massive. There were probably like 20-something people at this bachelor party. Mm-hmm. This is the video I sent when um, the the uh, the grill goes on fire, and that guy's like, f- like, <laughs> like he's flapping winds. He's like trying to like put it out with winds. Like, dude, you're feeding more oxygen to right. the fire. So it's... I'm not even kidding you, dude. It's like 8 a.m. I, I honestly, I think it was like 7:45 a.m. Damn, that's early. The door gets like kicked open. Music is blasting. There's like air horns. Sounds like something Zappa do. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> "Wow, let's go! Work, wake up!" And I'm just like, "Oh, dude, I went to bed at like 2:30 in the morning. Yeah. Like, I'm zonked." And I put my pillow. I'm like, "Oh, wake up, stop!" <laughs> but yeah, it's just the bunk thing is like, because you are a target. The whole time, because there's so many people in there, and somebody's gonna flip your mattress. Or I mean, it's a good way for Airbnbs to like up their price and say, you know, this place sleeps ten. Right. There's three bedrooms, but it sleeps ten. Right. It's like, all right, one's a master, one might have like two fulls, and then the rest are all bunks in one room. It's like, I mean, it's it's smart on their end, but it sucks for for us. <laughs> yeah. So I gotta try and find something that has a little bit more space for Mike. Dude, I'll I'll pay more, or I'll take yeah. like a pullout. That place was sweet that we found. It just it was. Did not, didn't work for that weekend. So I know. I know. We'll find something. That'll we be will. fun. We will. Well, we left off the last episode. Um, we were doing a lot of this or that or the verses. <laughs> that was fun. I like that. Um, and now that we're talking about like bad experiences, this is this is a good time to get into it. So we made some uh, some worsts. Yep. Would you rather, if you will... They're, they're, the it's options like, are all bad, so you have to pick what would you rather like suffer through. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pretty hard, man. Yeah. So, it's like, would you rather get eaten by a bear or run over by a boat? Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like step it's on like, Legos or get hemorrhoids. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Pain, pain either way. So uh, the first one we got here is um, mosquito bites. I'm assuming covered in mosquito bites versus uh, hiccups. Uh you that, put heart I'd, attack hiccups, but like so heart hurt, attack hiccups are hurting. to me are like yeah when they hurt when you have okay. like really big ones and they just like they literally hurt because they're so big, but uh, that was mine and I don't know the answer I hate both so much. I'd rather have the mosquito bites because I have this cool little thing called the crap. What's it called? You pull it out. Yeah, it's like a a bite repellent. It looks thing. like a syringe. It yeah, takes you all the suck poison the out. poison out. Really? With like a yeah. yeah it's Damn, crazy. I gotta get one of those. It works really well too. Okay. Like if you get su- you know stung by a mosquito or bit okay. by one, you, you, you can, can also literally die, suck though, it from out. Mosquitoes. West Nile virus. I don't or whatever. know, dude. They're like like they're both so bad. <laughs> so <laughs> mosquitoes are just gross looking. They're too, awful. You know? like, they're like creepy. And the noise. Oh, yeah. Those things are not from this planet. They're, they're also no like way. like they're not important to the life cycle. <laughs> like why are they here? Yeah, when they're in your ear. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. And it's like two AM, you're like, What the? you're like this. So what about just, for you? Which one? All right, so we have to we have to stay uh, like on the basics. Like, yeah, we could always say we have remedies and stuff. It just you have to suffer through it. So okay. it's like a body full of mosquito bites that I guess are really hiccups, itchy. But I hate hiccups. And hiccups that hurt, but like it, you're just hiccuping all day. Yeah, Can't I'd rather have the cups. And it's it's exhausting. <laughs> so I've been pretty good at getting rid of them the last couple of times. I've just been like trying to control like really large breaths in right. and out. Slowly. I would do mosquito bites. Yeah. I've heard really? if you scare the crap out of somebody, yeah. it'll stop their hiccups. I've tried and it worked once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just got really <coughs> cuz I would just em. like run or work out or do something to distract me and Yeah. All right, the next one's constipation or uncontrollable diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> uh that's tough too. Again, like high level, like constipation you just cannot go. Like it's building up. So it's almost better to go. just let it go. 
But then it comes with dehydration for just... Yeah, chug some water. I yeah. don't mind some Rhea because it's like... <laughs> Is that what the kids call it? Yeah, <laughs> the Rhea. Ria. I think it's the double, double R. But, you know, you're getting something done. Right. You know, something's coming out. I might be with you. Yeah. yeah. Like, you feel accomplished. You ever, like, you know, take a giant dumb and you look back and you're, like, proud of it? Oh, yeah. You when know, you have to look, you know it's great. Yeah, yeah. I would do diarrhea, too. I would just drink <laughs> just a ton of Gatorade. It is very dehydrating. Keep... But, yeah, just just rip some uh, electrolytes. Because it, be it's not the flu. It's not... Right. Anything bad is just you got diarrhea. Maybe whatever's causing it. I mean, I guess it would be a, an illness, but yeah. That was, and it's just more time on the toilet to, I don't know, watch some videos, watch a movie. 100%. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Play some uh, hot, shot, hot shot golf. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I like this one because this is kind of tough. So it's either not being able to fall asleep. So you're literally you're staring at the ceiling all night. It's pretty awful. until until the sun it's, comes yeah, out. It's torture. I had a really hard time sleeping when I was younger. Yeah, same. I still do. Or you sleep, but when you wake up, you're still very very tired and groggy. So it's like so what coffee's for baby. But it's like you did. It's like you slept, but you still didn't sleep. So you you wake up. Sometimes if I sleep too much, I still feel groggy. Same. Like there's a oh, fine yeah. line of like what you need versus like. Sleeping too yeah, much or what over you may want. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. That's think, a tough uh, one. I think for me, I'd rather wake up groggy because I could I, Same. Could I could get over that, but fall, not falling asleep, like it gets in my head. I'm yeah. like, I'm going to be a piece of crap tomorrow. I'm going to be miserable. I'm going to be gr- grumpy. I'm not going to get anything done. Like, And then I just start thinking. And then I right. can't fall asleep in, even longer. Yeah, you look over the clock. You're like, it's 3 a.m. I have four hours. If yeah, I yeah. fall asleep right now, yeah. I'll get four hours of sleep. And then you look at the clock and it's like five. You're like, if I fall asleep right now, I'll get two hours. And if you go into an REM sleep, a REM sleep, and it's only a couple hours, and then you have to wake up because the alarm. You feel like ass. You feel yeah. like shit. It's 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 awful. I would rather fall asleep and feel tired to make the hours go by. Fall asleep, wake up, and still feel tired. Yeah. But get rid of the night. Like wake up, the sun's out, and then continue my day. Because if I'm if I'm laying down, I'm looking at the ceiling, and like <laughs> exactly, it's awful, man. Yeah, it's heart awful. beats hard. Oh, you know, you start creating these hypothetical situations where somebody screwed you. That's what happens to me. I'm yeah, putting yeah. that on your plate. No, no. But that's what it's I awful. Think it's about. awful. I would rather just be able to fall asleep and then not do anything. Yeah, than, I think so. I think I'm yeah. with you. Yeah, we're, we're all we're all in agreement. That's why we're all friends. And that's right. That's right. Martini boys. All right. This is kind of this is kind of tough. I know. I wish we had like we get that next time we're gonna be like on the rocks on deck. Do you guys want to just like <laughs> put a bunch of melatonin in our drinks next time and we can <laughs> oh all just? Oh my god, that'd be nice. Okay, Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> did he do that? He did uh, sleeping pills and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like roofies, <laughs> roofies. Yeah. I sleep pretty well these days. Yeah. I, just, I think I don't I'm just out of energy. I, and that's the thing is like, I'm like I can go to bed at ten. Right. I'm like I'm not sleepy. It might take me till midnight, but once my eyes get heavy, that's it. Phone goes down, I'm gone. So I am constantly getting into bed around 11.30, between 11.30 and 1 a.m. And I'll tell you why. If I go to bed any earlier, I'm like awake and I'm just thinking about it being too early. And then I never <laughs> fall asleep. Yeah, It's such a mental never. battle. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Lexi goes to sleep. She's out. She closes her eyes. Her head too. hits that pillow. Dude, out. I wish I had that magic power. Same. Snap their finger. I Same. mean, she's like, all right, good night. So right. there's a hack that I figured out. If I can't fall asleep, do do? I just go get the biggest scoop of peanut butter I can fit down my gullet, and I'll fall asleep within like twenty Excuse minutes me? after that. Oh, I wonder if because like it, peanut it just butter? Peanut fills butter. you up, so your appetite's one of yeah. Those things like a lot of you. times, like the reason I can't sleep is because like I'm just not fully satiated, and so okay. I go just take a huge scoop of peanut butter, and then I'm just like, you know. So I've heard <laughs> that I've heard th- uh, peanut butter is one of those <laughs> one of <laughs> one of those. Uh, <laughs> Things that you just you can't throw up. So like if you're feeling sick or you have been or you're hungover, big scoop of peanut butter. It doesn't. You can't challenge like, accepted. Th- throw it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, try it next time. Yeah, I mean, I've heard that. Preventative. Like if you're like, because like I've been there where like you know not even just drinking like being sick violently right. throwing up, just try rips it. some peanut butter and cures you. That'd be awesome. Got you salts. You got your salts. Your sugars and. uh protein really with the peanuts peanut butter is an underrated food man i love peanut butter man peanut butter man peanut butter man peanut butter man <laughs> you like peanut peanut butter peter man. the man <laughs> peter the man <laughs> peter bread all right so we're out in the sun or in a anywhere with carpet <laughs> are you going <laughs> <laughs> i know where this is going but yeah. are you go- <laughs> are you going sunburn or rug burn 
Ooh. And make it like your whole body. I think rug burn. Sunburn, like I've had sun poisoning before. Like I cried. It hurt. Yeah, so you, it doesn't my say back, poison. Dude, you know, well, I know, but it when we when we is. did the Merrimack, when we used to kayak, oh, or the canoe yeah. rather, from yeah. Lawrence to Haverhill, dude, I got sun poisoning so bad on my back because I took my shirt off oh, and it just ripped on my back for four hours straight with no sunscreen. Yeah, okay. like not only does your skin hurt, but like you feel nauseous it's and awful. like you want to just vomit. Yeah. I, so I'd take the rug burn. All right, if it was third degree burns, like sun poisoning, absolutely rug burn. But if it's just sunburn in the sense you've been out a little too long, you're red, it hurts, you're putting aloe on, because when you take a shower, it kills. Yeah. Um, I would, I mean, it's not, I don't know, rug burn. I've had it only a couple it times. It depends to the extent for sure, but I mean, I used rug to burn get, hurts. I know, they both hurt. I used to get rug burn a lot on my elbows and my kneecaps when I was a kid, because I would like run around and slide or like roll around or like i'd go down the steps like carpeted steps like a like a shoot <laughs> mm. and i would get all like scuffed up it's we played softball for a while good. and you know when like the field is like like for softball fields it's mostly dirt mm. but you know when it's like gravelly like yeah. the dark it's like really fine but it's like kind of gray yeah i was just like balls to the wall one day playing softball and like i slid in like third base or something it was safe but like I still have a huge scar on my leg, like this big. It was just all tore up because I was I was wearing shorts. It was just intramurals, but I was like sliding in like gravel, basically. Oh my god, with shorts. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, yeah it's, but it's you bad. live and you learn. <laughs> you do. I know. That's I why like, I pitched. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna try slide. hard. <laughs> here's a here's a very popular one, like a very normal thing because it happens a lot. Is burning the roof of your mouth or burning your tongue? Dude, I burned the roof of my mouth yesterday, and like to the point like where it blistered and the skin came off. That sucks. Like hot pizza. cheese. I just pizza. microwaved some yeah. leftover hamburgers. Oh okay. Yeah, pizza typically will burn the top. There was of your cheese. Mouth. I wonder if yeah. it's the cheese. Maybe. It's Either way, whole, yeah, like, it burned like way all the way back my top molars. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to burn my tongue, but I feel like your tongue is actually a little bit more sh- like tough than I've the roof had both. Of your but mouth. then that's like like you know, when you, like when, if you're having hot cocoa, your first sip. Burn. It's like, all right, there goes the rest of my hot cocoa. It's right. ruined. Because, it's like it yeah. either hurts or it doesn't taste good. It's like, I don't know. I, I think I think I'd rather do the tongue though. Your tongue is like sandpaper, and nothing tastes good anymore. It's like completely numb for. But you're right. Like the roof of your mouth is kind of sensitive. It is. So yeah, like it literally blistered, and the thin. skin came off, and like it's it's annoying and it hurts. But like I don't know. It, that's a tough one. I think. Well, speaking it's of tough. like. You know the mouth being sensitive. You know, like people will get tattoos on like their inner lip. Yeah, it disappears. That's wild. I know. I oh, it, it does disappear after yeah, a while. Oh, yeah. so you basically end up just like ingesting all that. So it sounds very yep. painful though, because you got to push right. hard for a tattoo. It's not oh, like yeah. you just draw a line. Right. Like, you got to push, and like this is soft tissue. You could go. Like, I feel like you could go through it. Like you know, people do get this pierced and stuff. It's super. It's a. It's a very odd, awkward position. You got to keep it folded down, and then the artist is trying to keep with whatever you're getting and but it's crazy just just for it to like disappear after like five right. years four years i don't know how long it is it just doesn't seem worth the pain no yeah so you can go like this yeah. what's up dude look what i have like <laughs> yeah. who cares no you're tough <laughs> just eat some fun dip and let your tongue turn green <laughs> i know that, that sounds dude, that's good that's pretty that's that sounds baller. way better <laughs> you know that kid in elementary school he'd pull down his tongue and his green and you're like oh, yeah. yo what how did you do that and yeah. then you find out <laughs> Big and then my- when you're 30 people are like look at this <laughs> oh, with a green tongue. <laughs> yeah. This guy must have had fun dip. What a jerk. Facts. <laughs> I know. When you're a kid and you're like, look at my tongue. Like, what color is it? <laughs> that is funny. But then when you're like a 40-year-old and you're like, look at my tongue. What it's color creepy. is it? It's creepy. As yeah, yeah. Like, hell. like, hey, little boy, look at my tongue. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. I don't want to look at you your don't tongue. You want to say anything about little boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> here's, a, here's our last one. Our last night. <laughs> our last night. What's up? <laughs> you suck, Give kid. us a cover. No. Swamp ass. Or chafing, swamp ass, because it goes away. Chafing does suck. Take a little shower. Chafing goes away too, though. But I think it takes a little bit longer, and it's a little bit more painful. I would. I think swamp ass. I would rather the chafing and deal with a couple days of pain because I don't want to smell like ass in public. That's why. You, that's why we have like our, ho- our homes <laughs> like really yeah, no. swampy. But no, like I know, but like again, like we're we're trying to stay high level. Like no, maybe you're out for the day. Yeah, and anywhere you sit. Either way, it sucks if you're out for the day. Oh, I know, I know. It's like you know, <laughs> you're walking a lot, and like your boxers are just rubbing. Or you something. might be hurting, but no one's. Smelling. You know what? No I've one's learned, sniffing. <laughs> and I'm not gonna say who, but someone mm. close to us taught me yeah. about putting deodorant on your legs. That oh, helps yeah. a ton. Yep. Like it gets rid of it. You don't chafe. 
Nope. I think I did it when we went up to the Hollywood sign. Oh, I because it was a hot day, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna put it on my legs," and like I felt like a million bucks. I think I know the same person. Yeah, you might. So it wasn't me. No, it works. You weren't there. It works. I, you guys didn't exist to me then. You no. didn't exist to us then. But <laughs> yeah, I think I would choose the swamp ass. You know, I don't want Shrek like judging me or anything because Shrek he's is used love. to it. But um, Shrek is life. Shrek is life. <laughs> That's a, such a mess. I just video. think you hop so in funny. the shower and it's gone. But the problem when I lived in Florida. It was just constant daily thing. Right. Just like <laughs> pit stains and right. swamp ass. Like, you know. I just, I know. Again, I, I keep saying this. It's not like, yeah, if you have access to a shower, it's like, it doesn't matter. But I think it's just like throughout the whole day, you just have to deal with swamp ass. I think that's where you kind of have to. So like you walk into a area, there's a bunch of people, or you sit down or you're on a train. People are like, like, oh, man. Like, oh, oh like it really shit. But yeah. it's just, I mean, oh. at the end of the day, it's just sweat on your butt. It's not like you're like. But swamp ass is like that stank. Like yeah. that. It's more than just sweat. There's yeah, a little, it's, there's it's a like, little boopy in there. Oh. You've, you've probably taken a couple, wipe. <laughs> couple dumps yeah. throughout the Ran day. Ran out of toilet paper Gross. type of thing. That's yeah, disgusting. that's that's kind of what the swamp ass thing is. It's like wet and smells awful. And it's just, I don't know. It just carries with you. I'm all about smells, dude. <laughs> And like I can't. You'd, you'd just... love to get into my profession. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm only I'm, I'm day two, and I'm like, wow, there's some smells. Tell it's us. just something about uh, the smells. <laughs> picked up a guy, and he smelled. That was it. <laughs> I uh, yeah, the smells there. He's a little are gassy. <laughs> I wish we had more of this, man. What the hell? Here, I know. Didn't this one feel like it went by quick? Why? Because it's so good. It is. That's the thing. This one is so it. easy. So to bad. Drink. It's <laughs> so keep good. Saying, dude. Just keep lying. I love it. I drink more. <laughs> On the Ra- Rocks makes some good stuff. Dude, shout out to On the Rocks. Honestly, we've said this last time, but... No, they're very, legit, for sure. It's very affordable. We've had basically two drinks each. It's, so I mean, their their marketing's great. Like, yeah. It's, cool bottle. It's cool, yeah. It makes you want to buy got it. Six, so you got about six drinks when you fill it with like an ice cube, which most it's bars 40 do. It's 40 proof, 20%. Like, it's no joke. We've also... I looked it up with Lexi and um because we were just curious how much sugar is in it. They're very for like... um premium uh, alcohol, like premium spirits, and they sweeten everything with cane sugar, so real sugar. Are they supposed okay. to, are they supposed so to put good. that on it's here? Stuff. Should what? we sue them? <laughs> no. Hell no. It doesn't I, say like how much sugar is in it. Spice I feel us. like if I'm drinking, I'm like, all right, I'll forfeit a little bit of the health concerns. Right, exactly. You know, I, but I'm I a regular would, person. 10 out know? of 10 of the times, I would pick cane sugar over like bleached white sugar. So, Ble- yeah. Bleach sounds terrible. Bleach, well, when it's bleached, yeah, they bleach it because that's why it's like so white. Like regular just cane sugar right from the source, I'd rather just have that. So I use a Redmond's Real Salt. Um, that's salt. What is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, still, because... Do they bleach salt? or No, salt's got to be white, right? Because it comes well, from like, the ocean. W- well, yeah, but... You, you like um I love... Uh, There's also like pink Himalayan sea salt. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. sea Redmond's salt. Redmond's has a lot of pink in it, yeah. And you only need a little bit because it's so salty. But the thing with like sushi and ginger is it has to be white, like a like a whitish, grayish, light grayish tint. If it's pink, for what? it's dyed for sushi and stuff. Like when they serve the ginger on the side. Oh, ginger, okay. It has to be white. How if do you know? Pink, You're colorblind. <laughs> not that bad. You mean ginger? I thought ginger was green. <laughs> no. <kidding>. Yeah, gin- <laughs> or red. <laughs> yeah, no, ginger is like a clearish, like whitish. I'm not a ginger guy. Yeah, it's I like an all opaque, 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 slightly opaque. off white. Yeah. I don't touch yeah. ginger. Or the wasabi. Uh, sometimes I'll do wasabi and like wasabi, my soy dude. sauce. I love sushi, dude. We love should get wasabi. some sushi soon. We're going to. They're, they sell it at the place we're going to tonight. They do, but dude, you got 50 cent wings. I know. Crazy story. I, we went to get um, sushi the other day. Sasha. And uh, sushi. I had a couple pieces left, and I went to open up the ginger packet, dude. There was no opening button. What? Button? Yeah. You know, there's like a little pack, and like there's a little slit. Oh, like the perforated like yeah dude no slit ginger comes in a package yeah it did at the place that we went to Whole that's Foods. weird oh, okay, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah market baskets oh, so yeah, i just thought that was it. wild i'm like i can't eat it because there's no slit we gotta that's go like butter dude when you go to a place and they serve the little butter in those little plastic things and they don't tear off right oh, it's like right. why do you serve this and it's like, like i have to like, put my whipped. fingernail under like the plastic to peel it open god dang <laughs> i hate that i hate living in america <laughs> where it's so hard packaged everything just give me some carry gold don't give me this pack. Are we rolling? Crap. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. We will. I don't know what to roll for. So we need well, something to roll for. Who, have to, who has to choose? Life. Who has to choose first? <laughs> but whoever's like highest or, highest or lowest. But I, 
we gotta we gotta review these die because we'll use the square one. Use the square one. That's easy to read. What's the highest? Have like four numbers on. Highest side. goes first. Okay. Martini, you automatically win. What's yeah. a martini glass? Is win. that a three? It's a W. Win. Make okay. it win. <laughs> Automatic win. It's TM, probably a ten. But what's TMB? The market baskets. The Marshkit basket boys. Marshkit. <laughs> the Marshkit. The Marshkit basket Musket boys. Musket basket. The muscular. So I got these low debate. Uh, these low stake debates here. All right, ready. I love steak. So, me too. Niner. No, that's a six. Oh damn. Actually, it is actually a six because there's a dot next to it. Just give it to me. <laughs> All right. All right. There's a two, so I'm basically giving it to you. Two for one special. Come on, baby. Martini. Let's get that martini glass, man. Cheater. All right, you guys have to go again. Oh, yeah. we. Uh, you both rolled a six. We rolled a six. Swagger. Wow. <laughs> is it all six sixes? Again. Let's take a look at this die. Is this die weighted? Pangy. It's a lot We're using those <laughs> dice. upside down. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a nine now? Four. All, all right, right, I'm first. Here we go. Pick your pick Which your poison. You uh, right Don't pick that middle. one, dude. Same. That's so weird. That's a bad middle, one. Right? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. All right, go ahead. <laughs> What's My up? son Matt is a oh sorry. handsome. Sorry, stud. that was the fine print. <laughs> At what job? That is fine. Sorry, <laughs> you stop talking. At Do what? He, no. Uh, uh, to read. <laughs> All right, let's go. At what age should people be legally allowed to have a job? I think 16 works, but like I was mowing lawns at 12 to get some cash. I don't know. It, see, the fact that it says legally allowed to have a job means the person is willing to work. Right. So These days, though. <laughs> I think you could be 10, you know? Like, what if you want to just be like a little male boy who goes on a bicycle Dude, and throws some did you know, I mean, did you guys not sell lemonade to your mailman when oh, you yeah. were 10 or something? Or your right, neighbors? but I think it means like a legal, like, yeah, tax getting a pay stub job. You're getting like a, a W-2. W-2. Yeah. I don't you know, know dude. where you can After get like really screwed by the IRS, like me. Fresh teacher. High I'm my wife's a teacher. It's like these kids are so dumb now. <laughs> like I don't know if I'd want a 15 year old serving me like Dunkin' Donuts or something. You know, my brother worked there at Dunkin' Donuts when he was 13. I would. Dang. That was different times. Yeah. <laughs> they, and, wow, he wrote, he wrote his legal. bike there like the crack of dawn. Holy crap! Yeah. I, I would. I would say. Sure. <laughs> but Mike, I trust Mike. Teen. Like yeah. I would have trusted Mike when he was seven versus like a kid who's 18 now. Right. There should be there there are limits and there should be limits but like when you're 13 or 14 you're a freshman in high school you start moving into that you want to make a little like and there's things like you can be a bus boy yeah, it's like it's brainless at, stuff at stop and Market shop basket, yeah, yeah whatever stock the shelves you don't need like you don't need to be 16 or 17 I agree so i i and if you want to yeah i mean so it kind of depends on the job right but like there are definitely some low stake jobs that you could be 13 doing for sure i would say 13 14 because i couldn't yeah. until i was 15 I got I think, a job. or 15 and a half yeah. I needed a permit for my school my, <laughs> high, my high school you're next my friend yeah go ahead let's go alright you have to read it in an accent where somebody who answered a call from McAfee an American uh, yeah. an American accent an American like you did accent, last please. week <laughs> would you hello my friend uh, <laughs> hello it's a McAfee <laughs> would you wa- <laughs> alright it's the end of us would you want to be <laughs> immortal? Canceled. Yeah. Would you want to be? No. Oh, okay, go ahead. Finish Everyone that. knows these scam scam callers. Give me a break. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tell me what they sound like. No. <laughs> Would you want to be immortal? Why or why not? That's a great question. It's such a double-edged sword because like, it's I like, know. oh, I want to live forever. And like, dude, seeing people get old sucks. It's really hard. It is. But to a, there's got to be a point where you're like, I'm good. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it depends. If everybody else that you care about is also immortal, yeah, that'd be great, you know. But if it's just you, then you're everybody's gonna die that you've ever known. You have to keep remaking friends and family that you keep seeing die. I don't know. That, that's true. Tough. That would be tough. I think I'd be too reckless if I was immortal. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, oh, I can get away with anything. Well, that's that's true. Like, and it's like, oh, everyone's going to die and I can just restart people I know. It's like, no. Yeah, yeah. Like I, GTA, I, you just <laughs> get another life. Respawn. Wasted <laughs> and then you're back. Yeah, if it was, if everyone could be, it was just everyone's immortal, I would say no because of the population. Like, we would just be so overcrowded and then always introducing new humans to this world. I mean, no one's dying. I mean, what the hell are we going to do? Like, we're going to get to a, if you think about it, you multiply it every 10 years, there's going to be a point where, like, there's so many people, it's going to block it's off. It's just shoulder to shoulder. Dude, like, you can't even drive. Like, there's going to be so, like, how would you? 
We got some space left, but yeah. let's keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> if it's if it's a singularity thing, like it's like a superhero power, like you find in like uh, when you drink the youth, the fountain of youth <laughs> thing. I don't know. Yeah, I, so I, I think I'm, it's I'm, I think it's no, no for us. Live life and yeah, enjoy it. Do what you need to do and we don't do pick, an, pick another one. Yeah, exactly. I would hate to keep seeing people die. Is and everyone you know named Danny ugly? <laughs> um. All right. So, is it better to be a morning person or a night owl? Better is very subjective. Which do you prefer, dude? I'm so much more productive, work wise, in the morning. Yeah. Three o'clock, four o'clock hits. I'm like, I don't want to do anything, man. But I also like outside of work. I like hanging out with my friends at night. Like, yep. I don't want to be like, hey, you want to get together at six a.m. and go get some breakfast in the Market Basket parking lot? Breakfast with Danny. <laughs> His favorite meal. <laughs> mm. I'm the same way, dude. I think it's, uh, I don't know, better maybe to be a morning person. I'm, I'm just much more productive. Yeah. But I like being, an, I, I am a night owl. I'm kind of both. I only need like six or seven hours of sleep and that's it. So up till, up till midnight, I'm up at 6.30, 6.45 when Lindsay leaves. So Work? Absolutely. But when it comes to like watching a movie or gaming or something... There's You're not going to do that in the morning, right? There's, so. No, there's nothing better than like getting drawn in or getting like addicted to like some story mode or campaign game where like you're just so it's like an immersive game that you're just so into it. At night, for some reason, it feels so much better at night. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know if it's because the lighting or it's at night and you're just like fully focused. But if I had to choose though between, I would do er- I would do um, early because. Uh, the darkness definitely. It, I have you season, feel really seasonal good. Depression. Like when I get up, or if I have to get up early and go do something, like I don't know, whatever. I, I just feel good. I'm like, all right, I'm like, I'm seeing the sunrise. Like people are still sleeping. I feel better than other people at the time. Right. Yeah, so. that's that's why I would say morning person, because those times when I have woken up to watch the sunrise, I'm like, Pretty I just sick. feel different. Like I yeah. feel better, um, and it has actually nothing to do with work. I love getting up early in the morning and doing something I love before work even starts because a lot of times now, like I just wake up, roll out of bed, go over to my desk and I start work right away. But those days where I wake up and I do something fun, like maybe go surfing yeah. in the morning, like I feel a lot better about going to work later it's on. It's more peaceful. There's less people out. Yeah. And you're, you're just ahead of the world a little bit. Exactly. You know, I tend to have FOMO. So if I wake up later, I'm like, oh, what I miss out on? And so right. I stay up late. Right. And that's another way to get over FOMO is by like staying up super late because you're like, oh, I won't miss out on anything because I'm awake longer than you. So it's I'd just an- rather have those feelings in the morning. That's a huge military thing. It's like the first thing you do when you get out, when you wake up is make your bed because that's the first thing you've like yeah. accomplished for the day. And yeah. it's the, f- what's the other? It, it, uh, it just makes you like early worm, early bird gets the worm, <laughs> feeds the worm. Yeah. Gets you're, the worm. you're right though. Yeah. The making your bed thing. It's like, Look what I already accomplished. Right. Like, I was raised making my bed. Like, yeah. I don't know. I was supposed to, so I did. And so I still do. Nice. Well, there's that, like, 5.30 club, they call it. Or I think it's a 5 a.m. club, where it's just, like, people who wake up that early. And they call it, they say they're in that club. But I think that they're, like, pretty successful people. I'm sure. Because they're already, they already have their workout done. They've already had their coffee I and their breakfast before I've even thought about waking the up. The thing, though, and, and it's not for every, not not for everyone's case, but the people that are up at five are in bed at nine. It's like, I just can't do that. I'm not I'm it's not ready early. for bed. Yeah. It's like, I'm still, like, enjoying my day. Right. Why do I want to go to bed right now? Especially in the summer when it's light out oh, to, like, 9.30. Oh, dude. You're like, oh, I don't want to go to bed in 30 minutes. Like, I want to keep letting this ride. Yeah. Mid- midnight is good because you can sleep till eight or nine, and that's eight to nine hours of, yeah, of exactly. rest. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, seven thirty, eight. I don't need much more than that. Should we do one mole? Yeah, let's do it. One mole. Here we go. This one better be high stakes. I thought Danny went first. He did, but we're switching up. <laughs> now we're going this way. All right. He <laughs> started. He started. <laughs> I know. But I rolled. I'll go his. next. You can go last. <laughs> Should people have the right to wear pajamas in public? No. 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 They look like slobs. Yeah. No. I. I'm like, you look like an idiot. Just put some real clothes on. Throw some jeans on and a sweatshirt. It's not hard and it's not uncomfortable. It's like and by public, it's probably like to work. Or I used to call the it the Haverhill uniform, like, dude. 
<laughs> there were girls neighbor. in school that would That's wear so like true. the cookie monster. That's the yeah. joke. Like the cookie monster pajama pants. Like, dude, and the pink. It's that and the red plaid, red and black oh, plaid pajamas. Man. Everybody wore. And like slides or something <laughs> or like flip flops. Dude, like, take I get me. it. It's comfortable, but like. At uh, home. Yeah, At home. I don't know. Take me back to the 1800s, man. I think I was meant to live then because they all wore like. <laughs> you know, the men would Wigs. go out during the day. <laughs> And they'd wear a suit and tie. I know. I love that. Uh, so with my new job, women, I've been dressing real nice. Do you, yeah. you feel pretty good, right? I do. Dude, that's the thing. Dapper. I, I good, hit the gas station after work. I was like, I'm the best looking one here. Exactly. <laughs> There's nothing better than feeling good about yourself. Yeah. Look good and then feel good. It, it's I'm like, why haven't I been dressing? Like, it's not uncomfortable. I'm like, why have I not been dressing like this for the last five years? It's I ingrained like it. in our DNA, man. I like you. I like you too. Like for a while, it was quarter zips for me. And I'm like, it's basically a sweatshirt without a hood. Like it's comfortable. And right. It's still professional, but like now I'm wearing like slacks and buttons as long as that and ties and pea coats and vests. Yeah, you just nice. feel like you're in a different class of people, right? You know what I mean? Not to sound like snobby or anything, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, back in the day, that that's what people would wear during the day. They didn't yeah. have like you know Nike sweatpants that they'd wear out to right. like the grocery store. They always dressed nice. We need to get back to that. I think it's all about pride. You pride yeah. you, you have pride in what you do for a living and you pride to look good and represent the company. So this is an interesting yeah. one that I don't really care for, but are Pop Tarts in the same food category as Hot Pockets? I've never had a Hot Pocket in my life. I don't I don't, I don't think so. Imagine one. So so no. <laughs> it's a ham and cheese that you microwave. It's like a empanada kind of type oh, really? of thing. It's a ham and cheese. Yeah. But they what have are, everything. They'll have like chicken and I'm broccoli. Just, that's an example, yeah. have, so what's the debate? So Pop Tarts typically are sweet. So you'll have cinnamon, sugar, you'll have grape, you'll have... Dude, the factoid. s'mores one? S'mores. <laughs> yeah, factoid. It's it's like a pastry. Think mm. of it a bit as a pastry. So I don't think they're in the same. No, because... Yes. Because you're right, it is like a pastry. No, versus. because yes. Well, well, no, yes. <laughs> yes to him, but yeah. Yeah, no. So no, because most of them are sweet, filled with sugar, and just... They're always sweet. I've never had a pop tart that wasn't sweet. It's like steak and cheese. Yeah, like it would be a pop tart. Yeah, like it's always iced. It's like double chocolate or like vanilla cream with chocolate frosting. Like it's always sweet. Then you're like, ooh, yum. But then with hot pockets, you got ham and cheese. It's like you got an empanada. Breakfast. You got you got yeah. You got dinners. Savory. Right. I don't. Th- I would say no. Yeah, I, I agree. would say no. Go for it, bro. Take us to the end. Let's just finish them up. Finish this episode. Yeah, up. get that thick one. No, no, no. I want lots of words. No, you said it, so I'm picking this one. That's also thick. So you can thanks. get that one next. It's only four left. Mm. Out loud, please. Mm. Should you wash your dishes before putting them into the dishwasher? Oh my! Does it really say that? Yes. I I am a huge proponent of this. Yeah, because some stuff just it gets caked on. I have a brand there. new dishwasher. I still pull bowls out with spaghetti sauce on them. I'm like, this is Damn, why. Really? I, I was raised this way. My parents, yeah. we always wash the dishes, then put them in. Yeah, you do like a, you know, like seventy five percent, maybe fifty percent, seventy five. percent But dude, it it ha- it's real, and then and then your dishwasher smells, and that's also bad. Yeah, and I don't know what that does to like the filter system at the bottom. It's gotta be bad. For me. Yeah, it probably clogs it up. You so gotta you have get to clean that every month, and no one does it. Oh yeah, no one does See, it. I didn't even know there was a thing down there. Yeah, you take it out, rinse it out. Yeah, I just thought it disappeared and like went to the oompa loompa. It, it depends what you eat, really. Like like I said, spaghetti, you or eggs. Eggs stick to everything, even your forks. I'm like, I have to scrub the crap out of this before it goes in because it's gonna come out with egg on it if I don't. That's how peanut butter is. I th- yes. Oh my god, really? badly. Yeah, yes. I thought hot water like got it off pretty good. But yeah, it, it does. It, it but can. It's probably pr- better for the dishwasher than like spaghetti. Yeah. You know. So I would say rinse for sure. And scrubbing with water counts. Yeah. Wash to me, when it says wash, I feel like it means with soap and water. So I wouldn't do that, but I would spaghetti I would though. rinse it. I'm still throwing soap on the brush. So I use plat I use um the platinum uh I'm trying to think of the brand. God, I can't right now. It's like platinum and it's supposed to get all like the Bud Light Platinum? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We should try yeah, that. Yeah. No, 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 no. And it, it really does a pretty pretty damn good job at uh, getting all like the dried up stuff on it. But I'll give it a quick. Yeah. Give it a quickie. Cool. Like all right, who's next? You. Go for it. Stacker. I think we might be there. We might be done. Yeah. All right, let's run it. Run it, bro. Hour and ten. Who cares? How are we doing? Would, <laughs> would cats or dogs be better at running the world? That's a great question. Dogs are all happiness and sunshine, rainbows. Cats might be a little bit more logical, or not logical, but more like realistic. Yeah, I, I think a bland, like a I cat dog. Dude, that's what that show must be yeah. about. 
I'd still give it to dogs. I want a Same. happy world, not a. Same. I'm gonna knock everything over world. <laughs> Yeah, cats like to... They're, they're the just same. rebellious, I think. Cats are the same, and it's the whole joke of the nine lives because they're always doing something... They're always, like, too curious. Curiosity, Curiosity killed, killed the, cat. the cat. But, yes, a golden, for sure. But I've seen videos, dude, online with, like, the canines. The German shepherds are so brilliant. Like, mm. com- like I saw this guy with a gun, like a military or, or a police in a different country, and it was like, when he crouched, the dog crouched. When he got up, the dog got up. Like, yeah, he let's was see a cat so that. Belgian oh, Malinois. I yeah. mean, any dog really can be trained to do that. But w- listen, we already we already tried the German thing running in the world. Let's let's, let's not, not do that again. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out very well. But that's that's a good question. I'd, I'd I still mean, give it to dogs. I want the happiness dogs. over the... Well, yeah. Yeah, cats have an ego, too. Like, if you mess with them, they'll get back at you. But dogs are just <laughs> unconditional love, man. Right. Yeah. No matter what you do to them, they just will love you to death. Cats I are moody. This, I saw this awesome sign in front of a a vet and it said if your cat could text you they wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> right well won't cats eat you if you're dead and, and you're in your that's house what i've read that i've heard that but dogs won't you know what i've heard too is uh you know how dogs like lick you they'll lick your lick face oh <laughs> yeah no whoa sorry we were talking <laughs> peanut butter earlier like licking your face and stuff i saw this this post and it was like are they licking you because they're happy to see you or because they you sense it. bones? There's a bone, There's yeah. bones <laughs> below your skin. Ooh. Yeah, right? Like your teeth, they're all bones. All right, last one. Then we'll, we'll, Mine aren't. We'll see you next week. <laughs> oh, well, this, is, this is weird. <laughs> is a smoothie a soup? Tune in next week to find out. <laughs> <laughs> no, absolutely not. No. No. Soup is warm. I'm s- I'm I'm That's guessing. It's like saying is ice is because you eat it with a spoon. I guess if you're eating a smoothie with a spoon, but I'm j- using a straw. They're so different. I know. They're cold and hot and maybe with a blizzard, like a Mc a McFlurry or a blizzard when you're using That's a spoon, but it's still. Would you ever call that a soup though? Yeah. Absolutely not. Soup is hot, and it's for the cold weather. It's comfort food. Frothy. It's frothy. Take it away, boss. Thursdays, 11 a.m. Dropping some heat, dropping some steamers, some Stanley steamers. So tune in. Peep us on the gram. Peep us on the talk. Peep us on whatever else. (laughs) We're going to get some 50 cent wings. Cheers. Peace out. Peace it out. Shake it up. (laughs) 